Hey there Keller Williams, this is Bryson from KWU and today we'll be learning how to customize your consumer guide. The consumer guide in the KW app and on your KW site is designed to walk your clients through the process of buying or selling a home while tracking their progress throughout the process. With being able to customize your consumer guides, this is your opportunity to lay out your entire transaction step by step. To get started, let's log into agent.kw.com with your Keller Williams login credentials. Once you're logged in, click the consumer icon on the left side of the page. Next, click the Guide Builder tab at the top of the page. Next, click the Edit icon beside the guide you want to edit. During the process of customizing your consumer guide, you're able to reorder the steps, edit the information and images within the steps, add new steps, and remove steps from within the guide. To reorder a step, click and hold the six dots to the left of the step and drag the step to the desired position. Be sure to click Save Changes as you go. To edit a guide step, click on the step you wish to edit and a panel of information will appear that you can edit for the guide step. Here's where you can edit the image for the step, the title for the step, the subtitle or introduction to the step, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find the workspace details section of the step. This is where you can detail the entire process of a particular step and type out paragraphs of information which will be seen by your client when they access the step. Once you're done, be sure to click Save Changes in the top right hand corner. I'd also like to take the time to explain that there are two steps in the Buyer's Guide known as Smart Steps. Those are the Get Pre-Approved Steps and the Home Insurance Steps. These steps won't have an area for workspace text to be typed out like the other regular steps. That's due to the fact that once a client actually accesses this step, there will be a link that they can click which will take them to either the Keller Mortgage site if they are on the Get Pre-Approved step or to the Keller Covered site if they are on the Home Insurance step. Now if Keller Mortgage or Keller Covered isn't available in your state, you can remove that step and add a custom step of your own. To add a custom step to a guide, scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the guide and click Add a Step. And here's where you can type in the title for your guide step the introduction to your guide step or subtitle and you can also upload an image for your guide step as well. Once you have this information filled out and an image uploaded, click continue and the step will be added to the very bottom of the guide. But you can definitely drag and drop that to a different position. And you'll also notice when you click on the step and go to the workspace details, you will see that there is a workspace text area for you to type out a more detailed description of the custom step that you've added. You also have the ability to remove any steps from your guide but keep in mind that you must have at least three steps added at any one time before you try to remove a step. To remove a step, click the guide step and click the trash can icon to remove it. Now keep in mind there is no confirmation so make sure that this is what you want to do. Now let's say you accidentally removed a default step and want to add it back to your guide. All you would need to do is scroll down to the very bottom of the guide, click add a step and since this is a default step, we'll select the select the default step option. Click the drop down, click continue, and the default step has been added back to the bottom of our guide, which we can definitely move back to any position that we want. So the last thing I want to touch on is the guide introduction. Each of your consumer guides will have an introduction and you can edit that information as well as enter in your own custom title and message. To edit your guide introduction, click the introduction tab at the top of the page. And here's where you can enter in your timeline introduction title and a timeline introduction message. Just be sure to click save changes once you're done. For more resources, click the question mark in the top right hand corner of your screen. Select Keller Williams University and use the search. Thanks for watching this video. But for more great videos, check some out over here.